Howdy y'all, how's it going? This is Kato Chess. Quick question for you. Do you guys know what that is? Well, if you don't, I'll tell you what that is. That is a Smurf, and that is a uh, Smurf playing chess. So the reason for today's video is a little bit different than what I normally do. I'm not actually going to be playing a game. I'm going to be going over a game. So I played this game uh, against this Yakel double zero a couple days ago, and uh, a little bit of background, my highest rating in Bullet is 1684, so almost 1700, and I was getting absolutely decimated several games back to back, no wine included, unfortunately, so it's even more of an embarrassment that I was losing, but uh, that's neither here nor there. I was rated 1389 when I played this game a couple days ago, so about 300 points lower than what my, almost 400 points lower than what my highest rating is. No, 300. Math is hard. And when I was playing this guy... I noticed that he wasn't really playing like a like a like a 1394, right? So really quickly, let's get into this game. I was playing as white, obviously. It's a rated game. We have e45. We get the knights out, and I'm going for the Scotch Gambit. He takes bishop out. I decide to gambit another pawn. We trade. I'm gonna blow through this really quickly. Pause. Um, he castles now. Uh, if we go back a couple moves, I was uh, I was doing pretty good, right? Right before I castled, like this is like, uh, this is, uh, you know, like plus six, plus seven, plus one, wait, plus 1.7. Great. But I'm 1300 at the, you know, 13, 1600. So I, I, like, I don't know where the advantage is here. It's too early in the game for me to really see it. Doesn't look like there's anything obvious. So I just quickly decide to castle. He gets his knight out. I put my queen to pressure on his king with some x ray and I attack the knight. Apparently, this is a really bad move and it went from being you know, plus 1.7 to minus 1.7. It's embarrassing, but it's neither here nor there. He takes, I take, he takes. So at this point, I noticed that I don't feel like I'm playing a 1394. When I play someone that is lower than my normal rating, typically I will gambit some pawns. I'll play a little more recklessly. And yeah, this guy's playing pretty solid um, chess, but I felt like something was kind of off but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. And I've been bumping into this more and more and more on chess.com. I don't know if you guys have felt the same way. Um, I already know what some of the comments are going to be. The bullet chess is not real chess, so you're not really good. I've had people tell me I'm not really good at chess. And uh, I think on chess.com, it's like I'm somewhere between like the 80th and 90th percentile. And I don't know if you know this, but that's a B to a B plus or an A if you're not in Catholic school. So. I decided to take, he attacks my queen, and this is where I really felt like things were going wrong. So he attacks my queen with tempo once, he attacks my queen with tempo twice, and he attacks my queen with tempo three times. And like, they're decent moves. Uh, like all the way through, these are decent moves. I mean, they're, they're, they're quick, like he didn't really have to think. Uh, this one's pretty obvious, uh, anyone could see this one. Uh, this one's also obvious, anyone could see this one. And this one's pretty obvious, anyone could see this one. However. 1300s usually aren't anyone. They're usually not seeing these, and you can usually get away with this, like, uh, cheese nonsense. They usually don't think, attack the queen, attack the queen, attack the queen. Um, usually they're, like, just shoving pawns down your throat. Usually up until about 1500, I've noticed people just, in bullet, just fling pawns constantly rather than um, attacking pieces with tempo. That's just what I've noticed. I don't know if you guys have noticed that or not. Anyway, so this was a terrible move. At this point, it is... Minus 2.36. I was probably pretty tilted from losing so many games prior to this. Obviously, my rating was a little bit lower. And this is where I am embarrassed for myself. So this is where I almost didn't make this video because I'm an idiot. So he saw this, wins this. But this is defended by this. This is where I'm an idiot. So he takes, I take. And I said, oh no, my queen, but oh no, go fuck yourself because my queen is defended by my bishop. So uh, I don't know if this is more embarrassing for him after I expose what his actual rating is, or if this is more embarrassing for me. We'll just call it me because I mean, what am I doing really? Um, that's just, <laughs> that's bad. So he takes, I take, he takes and I resign. 17 moves. So we had 17 move game against a 1394. Someone who's, you know, a couple hundred points lower rated than me and I just get decimated. Now, can this happen where you lo lose to people lower rate than you? Yeah, sure, happens all the time. However, 
in 17 moves and like this uh that's embarrassing for me but also it's kind of strange so i decided to take a look at his account and this is kind of the interesting part of, of all this um now let's just let's zoom way in his rapid rating is 2047 2000 professional level chess so let's click on it and it gets even worse his highest rating is 2233 which is incredible so my idea for chess.com who will never see this video but my idea for them and this is the whole point of the video is i think that if you're playing someone who is more than 500 points of their lowest rating range so for example if you're 500 bullets but you're 1100 rapid or if you're a thousand bullet and 2200 rapid you know or, or 1700 rapid i i think that there should be an image of like a smurf as like their flair and then if you decide to abort the game you don't get penalized for it and um or like it doesn't count against you in any way and also if you beat them you should get triple the rating and if you lose to them you should only lose a little bit of rating because well let's face it you decided to play them anyway and i don't know this is the last thing i want to touch on i don't know if you guys have been running into this a lot on chesscom but i i really have there was actually a guy that admitted to me that he was playing on his girlfriend's account and that he was or wait no it wasn't this guy but there was a guy that admitted to me that he was 2100 and he was playing on his girlfriend's account and i did report the account to chesscom and they did nothing about it maybe they did something about his main account but not the one he was legit smurfing on and i just you know not to let out my inner kramnik you know my my inner crybaby but i do think it's kind of a problem and i think it's really easy to overcome it just put a little flare of a smurf and then you can just choose if you want to play or not it's super simple super easy they could bake it right into their software their algorithm and then this horse shit wouldn't even happen so let me know what you guys think thanks so much for watching this is kato chess we will see y'all in the next one also add me on discord or something